the final question to me, man. The squad's not ready to fight. What do you talk about with the tournament? Variables. Who gets hurt? Who has energy? Who drops out? Who goes in? That's what we're seeing in the finals. Variables. On the line, a light heavyweight title fight against the winner of the main event tonight, Tito Ortiz and Liam McGeary. Bill Davis buddy, never ready? got fight. that title shot in the UFC. He can earn it in the Bellator cage right now. The fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Pilsner. Cheers. It's Miller time. To the last, I will grapple with the great wrestler, great submission fighter in there. It's a matter of who gets position, who has the right timing, who seizes the opportunity. Both guys very dangerous on the ground. Is there a difference in wrestling styles between someone who is in Europe and learned and trained in Europe and an all-American? Yeah, yeah, very true. I mean, the, the typical, typical quote-unquote American wrestler, a blast style of takedown. You look guys like Brandon Slay, Jordan Burroughs, guys who have been successful on the international scene. They have a very physically dynamic style. Guys in Europe tend to scramble a little bit more. Also remember, Kermong, Western Europe, not known for great wrestling. Great wrestlers generally come out of Eastern Europe. He has to work on his takedown tonight, for sure, and yeah. his defense. This will be reported, and I'm sure Twitter's going crazy as we speak, but this was a very late decision. King Mo was cleared earlier, immediately after his fight. This was a late decision, so then the decision to check on Linton Vassell to see if he could go, that came very late. Right. He might not have had a lot of warm-up time. I always say you hope for the best, you prepare for the worst. Come on, knew this could happen. Bill Davis's fight about two and a half hours ago. Carmont's was over five hours ago. Is there any difference there? Oh, big time. That's when the damage, any fatigue, really starts setting in after about a half hour, an hour. That's when it really gets to you. I would say advantage Phil Davis. Bill Davis was the favorite going into this tournament. You can only imagine now. in the roller coaster of emotion for Phil Davis where his Bellator debut was as dominant, as impressive as it was if things don't go his way here. Yeah, that's it. Oh my God, it's, it's over. Left. Jason Dunn's on giving the extra time, but it was never in doubt. Wow. The blue chip free agent Phil Davis is dominant. Monstrous impact in his debut, and he is next in line for a shot. He'll finally get that shot at the light heavyweight world title. Phil Davis, a dominant, dominant performance 